Hello. In this tutorial, I want to run you through how to set up shipping on Stormantis. Now, you need to understand some basic concepts that are involved in setting up your shipping. First of all, let's go to System and then click Localization. You notice we have an option called Countries, which is expandable. We have zones and we have geo zones. Now these three options are the key elements of setting up your shipping in Stormantis. So when you sign up, by default, your country that um, you registered in is set up for you as um, as a country. So if I click countries, I can see my default country set up. Now you could choose to insert a new country if you want to. Um, if your country isn't listed here, you could just click the insert button, enter the country name, um, the country code, um, address format, and some optional um, parameter, parameters. So let's go back to system, localization. There's also the option to import countries and zones. Um, this makes it easy for you to easily import your country instead of entering it manually um, like in the previous um, screen. So there's a whole long list of different countries. You could just simply click the import button and this will import the country and all the zones, i.e. the states for that country. So let's go back to system localization. Now the first, uh, the next thing you need to understand is the concept of zones. So if I click zones, now a zone is a geographical region within a country for which you'd like your customers to be able to um, segment themselves into. So typically um, it's usually a state in your country. Like when you import, um, when you, you sign up or when you import a country, by default zones are created for you and each zone is going to represent a state within your country. But you could actually choose to change that. For example, um, let's say you'd like to set up different locations within one state that you'd like to ship to. Then you could choose to create um, different zones for that state. Let's say, for example, okay, I have a state called Abia. Now, let's say I would like to instead of people to just specify that they are located within Abia state, I'd like them to be able to specify that they are located within different local governments within that state. So let's say I want them to be in um, Abia North to specify whether they're in Abia North and Abia South, Abia East or Abia West. What I'll do is to click the insert button And then I'll create a new zone called Abia North. Um, give it a, a code um, North. I'll give it a code, let's say ABN, the country, Nigeria, zone status enabled. And then I'll click Save. So I'll keep doing that for the other um, zones that I would like people to be located in. In this kind of case, I would I would most likely want to delete the default Abia zone so that people won't be able to select just that zone when they're registering. So let's go back to the previous page. All right, so here we have a whole long list of zones. So like I said, a zone um, typically is a state or different areas within a state. Now the next concept is a concept of geographical zones or geo zones as they're written for short. So let's click the geo zones. By default, when you register um, two zones are created, default shipping and de default VAT zone. Now a geo, a geo zone is simply a collection of different zones within a country. Now let me explain it. A geo zone, um, is created so that you could assign um, shipping 
prices to a group of zones. So let's say, for example, I'm shipping to um, five states and for all five states, I want the shipping rates to be the same. In that case, I'll create a geo zone um, and then assign all those five states to that geo zone so that I can easily set a shipping price for all those states. So let's um, give an example. If I click insert, now I could give the geo zone a name. Let's say I'll call it Southwest West um, West States. Okay, a description I would say something like um, South Western States. Okay. So I'll click the Add Geo Zone button. It shows me my country, and then I, I can choose to select some states. So let me go through them and add some southwestern states. Okay, so now I have created, um, I have specified some southwestern states, and so I'll click save. All right, so you can now see the GeoZone Southwest states. So um, that's that. We've defined this zone and we'll use it later. So next, if you want to set up um, the shipping method proper, um, now, now shipping methods are for creating um, easy ways for your customers to specify the kind of shipping that they would like to use for their orders. So to begin, I click extension apps and go to shipping. All right. Now there's a long list of shipping methods that you could choose from a whole long list and you would choose one that is most appropriate for your needs. So if we go through the entire list, we have um, um, country zone, FedEx, um, flat rate, um, free shipping by category per item, pick up from store, free in one shipping and weight based shipping. Now, some co I'm going to run you through some commonly used shipping methods. The first is country zone shipping. So um, by the, um, this one is already installed. But if it's not installed, you simply just click the install button and then you click edit. So let's edit this method. Now, a country zone shipping is a convenient way for you to easily set shipping prices per zone. So this uh, method doesn't really use the concept of geo zones um, we discussed earlier. It simply just allows you to set a price for a zone. So um, by default, um, the country is here, and then there's a drop down that help that lets you select um, from any zone. Um, there's a tax class. Um, you can just leave that as none. And then there's first and each next. The instructions here enable and um, explain what first and each next both stand for. So I'm going to go through that. So let's say I'd like to specify a price, um, let's say for Lagos State, and I click Add. I can specify a price for another state, let's say Abuja, for example. All right, so I just specify how much I'd like to charge for that location, and I click Save, and that's, all, and that's it. So let's go back to the previous page and go through other shipping methods. Um, the next one is the flat rate shipping method. Let's click edit. Okay, so the flat rate uses the concept of geo zones. Um, first of all, you specify the price for um, that you'd like to charge. It's just going to be a, um, a flat price regardless of how many items the customer is purchasing or the weight of the, of the items. 
So you enter in the price and then you select the geo zone that this price is going to be applicable to. So if I select, I can select Southwest states that I created before, um, click and make it enabled. And the sort order just specifies the order in which the shipping method is going to appear relative to the other methods that you may have installed. So, um, so if I set, set this, this cost, it's going to affect all the states or zones that are within the geo zone that I have selected. So, um, that's it for flat rate. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, and note that you have, um, up to five flat rates, um, available. So you can, it helps you to easily, um, specify the flat rate up to five times. All right. The next one is free shipping. Um, this is if you'd like to, um, if you prefer not to charge for shipping, um, it, let's edit it. This, of, this also uses the concept of geo zones. So you could select the amount that if you would like to, uh, that would apply before this method becomes active. What that means is if you'd like, for example, free shipping to only be available when somebody makes a purchase of 10,000 and above, then you could just enter in 10,000, um, select the geo zone for which that free shipping would apply to you. Now, this is usually very important because you typically, typically can't, um, uh, um, provide free shipping for every zone. So you'd specify the geo zone that you want the free shipping to apply for, um, make it enabled and add a sort order. So that, that's it for free shipping. Let's go back. Okay. Now another interesting one is free shipping by category. Let's install this method. Okay. It's installed. Now let's click edit. All right. So, um, the first option is shipping name. So you could, um, give this any name. This is the name that will be available to the customers when they want to select this method. So I can just call this free shipping. Okay. Next is you'd now what this method basically does is that it enables you to provide shipping based on the customer's shopping cart content. So, um, if a customer adds a product that belongs to a specific category into their shopping cart, then this product, this uh, method will become available to them. So, um, there are host, there are a couple of options. There's geo zone. There's, um, one makes all free. Um, that it's explained here that when it's checked, a single product from the free shipping category makes the whole shipping free. And so, uh, so if somebody just, um, adds just one item from that category, then regardless of all the other items in the shopping cart, the, um, shipping will be free. And so here you can select the category that the free shipping is going to, um, apply to. So let's go back. Okay. Um, there's also per item pick up from store. This just, this basically is going to make it free. Um, going to give them a, a zero shipping fee. It's expected. It will just come to your store to pick up the item. Um, the last, um, shipping method I want to go through is three in one shipping. So if I click the install button, okay, so it's installed. Now let's edit. Okay. Now, the three one shipping is a very powerful shipping method. Um, as the name implies, it enables you to, um, combine three shipping methods into one. So over here, you can enter in the name, um, that's going to appear to the customer when they select the method. Now, so this method combines the flat rate shipping free shipping and free shipping by category. So basically you can specify a flat shipping rate. 
um, let's say I can enter 2000 and then a total amount that will apply um, that will make the shipping free instead so if I enter for example 10,000 here it means that any order that is above 10,000 um, will be shipped for free but if it's not uh, up to 10,000 then a flat rate of 2,000 would apply but then again if I want some items just in a category to trigger free shipping I can choose to specify a category and so um, if somebody has a product from this category in their shopping cart then they will get free shipping if there's no product in the shopping cart it will go to either free shipping total means that if it's above 10,000 they will also get it for free but if it's not above 10,000 then the shipping price of 2000 would apply instead so um, that's how to configure all your shipping methods um, so um, if you go to our website let's just um, go through how registration happens and so you'd get an idea of how the shipping plays out if I choose to create an account okay so um, as a user in the drop down they would see the country that you've configured and then for region slash state they will see all the zones that you set so when a customer registers they set they, they select their zone and their country and this is how the system matches them with the appropriate shipping method that you have configured so there you have it that's how to set up your shipping methods on Stormantis